Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And what I'm holding right here is a new radio I got a couple of days ago from Simmeyer. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's an SM-925. I saw this on Amazon, and I was like, that's pretty cool. I want to check that out. So here's the uh, capabilities. FM, AM, short wave. Uh, lithium battery that's built in non removable or at least not easily removable USB TF card player auxiliary input and uh, comes with a charging cable 9 volt I mean 5 volts input and it didn't mention here it's also US I mean a uh, Bluetooth capable so you can Put it in a Bluetooth mode and then have your phone output sent to here. Now it's not two way, it's only for playing. Uh, output power is 5 watts, speaker is a 5 watt speaker, noise rated greater than 45 dB. I'm not sure exactly what that means. FM is 87 to 108 megahertz, AM is 522 to 1620 kilohertz. And short wave is 5.9 to 18 megahertz. Pretty cool. Um, you can get this off of Amazon, 24.95. This is similar to a radio I did oh, three or four weeks ago. It was AM and FM only. It was on sale for 6.99. This is 24.99, but it has a lot more features. Okay, let's open this up <clears throat> now. I've already opened it and tried it, and it was packed in bubble wrap, which my one of my cats likes to get on my desk here in my office, and she loves to play with bubble wrap, and what she does is, if I'm in some other room, she'll bring me the bubble wrap, so I had to throw that away so she wouldn't swallow it. Okay, here it is. comes with a charging cable, which is very short. <clears throat> manual, so to speak, warranty card. Okay, here's the manual. Two pages, or, yeah, one page back in front. Uh, here's the specifications. Ah, this is interesting. I know you can't read it. At the bottom it says, this is not a professional SSB radio. So it is weak on shortwave than the professional SSB radio. Well, they admit up front, this is not going to be your primary shortwave radio. Um, do, 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 do. Talks about Bluetooth. Now, I didn't mention Bluetooth on the box. That's, they mentioned it in the ad. Um, I can see I put this in my Amazon store. The link to my Amazon store is below each of my videos in the description and cautions here's some interesting things please don't open case of turn I guess that means or turn any components by yourself otherwise the function will be affected please don't hit strongly and drop don't stay your radio in the condition of corrosive high temperature and under strong light. Do not disassemble the battery. Do not put the battery exposure to a flame or water in order to prevent fire, burning of the or burning of the battery, please do not let the damage of the battery in metal items. I'm trying to read it as it says. I might be making a mistake here, but it's eh. Do not send battery exposure to high temperatures okay and that's it that's it okay Got close here I like I like this display for the dial this this is on off volume this is um, function selection this is the tuning knob uh, over here is the auxiliary input and the USB micro USB charging point port. Here's the TF card slot and here is the full size USB slot. 
for playing files off of the, either one of those. This is the control when playing files for play, pause, skip forward, skip back. Telescopic antenna for puppy FM and shortwave. Very short, less than a foot. So, not going to do very good on shortwave. A carrying strap. Uh, unfortunately, it's not easily removable. So, if you don't want this, you're just going to have to cut it off. That's it. Built-in battery, lithium battery, uh, 1,200 milliamp hours. And probably more than adequate to play for several hours. Uh, pretty compact. The the trouble with ads nowadays, they they put them in there, they make them so it looks like it's bigger than it really is. Like it'll have the radio or device, whatever. And then I'll have a person way back in the background. So it looks like a radio is pretty big. This is pretty small, which is, you know, I understand that. That's not a problem. It will fit like on your desk or your uh, nightstand. So it's nice and convenient. All right, let's turn it on. Let's see. Let's go to shortwave. Turn it on. Don't expect to get much on shortwave. Oh, that's not shortwave. I can say, wow. Shortwave. Uh, don't expect to get much on shortwave. It's already 9:30, since it's already taken me two takes already to try to get this done, and so it's kind of late in the morning to receive anything on shortwave in my area. But we'll try anyway. So we'll extend this antenna. Okay, it's fully extended. Not very long. I'm in my office. Lots of RF floating around. I got three monitors going, six computers going, a router, switch. I got all kinds of bad things going here. So keep that in mind too. Uh, getting a lot of glare on the light. It's that I like. This is what caught my eye on this radio and the other one like it that I reviewed before. Is it's cool, bright, easy to read. Now it's kind of. Uh, over bright for my camera right now. See if I bring it closer, the camera will adjust. There we go. It's got a nice amber backlight LEDs. You can't turn, you can't turn the display off without turning the radio on. So hopefully that's not too bright. Won't keep you awake. Um, okay, let's go. Wait a minute. That was short wave. I heard something on short wave. Oh my gosh, there was something there. Now I've lost it. All right, yeah. This, I believe, is a DSP tuner, which means it has the dreaded mute while tuning uh, symptom, I'll call it, which I don't like. So you have to tune it really slow, and you even have to move it a little bit and let it sit there for half a second for the DSP to kick in. Otherwise, you don't hear anything. So you could go through the entire dial and not hear anything. All right. Let's see where... I'm going to see if I can find that station. There it is. Right in there. I lost it. Maybe because I moved it? I don't know. I can say, you gotta really tweak this sooner. Where does the station go? You hear that boop, boop? That's that muting. I'll be darned. I can't find that station again. See how my finger affects the noise? I lost it. It was there. Hey, that is... 
I turn the volume down. That is about 6.5, 6.6 megahertz, which is down in that area, around 6 megahertz. I get pretty, pretty local. I think it's like Miami or Cuba, Spanish-speaking stations. Uh, again, my timing is terrible as far as shortwave reception. It's almost 9.30. I usually don't get anything, hardly at all, even on my running 750 over there. But I do get that, those couple of things. That tune really slow. I'm kind of hurrying. Okay, that's it. I was able to yesterday, um, when I got it, it was about 3.30 in the afternoon. I just quickly turned it on, didn't charge it. It was already charged a little bit. And I tuned shortwave and up around 13 megahertz, I was getting a very strong English-speaking station. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but it was coming in pretty loud and clear. Now, again, this antenna is really short. Let's just try something. For grins, I have my G5 RV antenna here, and I got an alligator lead, lead uh, alligator clip lead, and we'll turn the volume up and just see what happens. See if it overloads with medium weight. There was a station there. So you, you got to just tune it ever so slightly and then stop. Yeah, there's something there. About 13 megahertz. Let's just see if I can get WWV on 10 megahertz. It'd be down about here someplace. Okay. Well, there's something there. It's about 9 megahertz. Another Spanish station. Another Spanish station that's up in the um, northeastern part of the United States uh, is usually broadcasting in Spanish. That could be one of those. I don't know. Okay, let's unclip this. Let's try the other bands real quick. Um, next one up the line is AM. Turn the volume back up. There we go. Say, oh my God, that would be great. But of course, that's plenty of volume because that's how it works. And it's pretty clear, or even this little speaker. Traditional long-term care. So I'm getting a lot of medium wave stations, which I normally do. Let's go to FM. I assume it, yeah, it's using this antenna. Got to stay away from music. There's some music. Okay, okay boy, we got plenty of volume. And we're picking up a lot of stations. We're picking up a lot of stations. So FM's working great. Now, let's try. Now, I'm going to turn the volume. Well, let me get it off of that station.
turn the volume back up, and I'm going to switch to MP3. There's nothing connected to those two ports, and so you'll hear what it does. Bluetooth mode, that's what she's telling you. Okay, so it's in Bluetooth mode, um, so I could have a cell phone, for instance, and uh, have play the cell phone through this device, which gives me basically an amplified speaker. Okay, now, let's we'll play it safe, turn it off. See, that dial is really brightly lit, and I have a USB drive with some YouTube free audio, music, and I'll plug that in here, make sure I get it in there all the way, I'll turn this on, and you should see this thing light up, if I got it, there it goes, so it's accessing it, now it's playing it, audio is very good, that's about one quarter volume. Use these buttons up here, pause, play, next channel, next or next file, previous, works great, and it can use either the small TF card, which I've lost mine, or a big USB. I don't know, I don't know how large a USB drive it'll accept. This is, let's say, yeah, this is, I can't read it. Uh, oh, it's upside down. I wonder I couldn't read it. Doesn't say. I think it's, an 8 gigabyte drive. I think it has an 8 gigabyte zip drive. All righty. Well, let's uh, turn this off. Unplug that. I'll show you the dial up close. I'll try to. I've got manual zoom here, so let me see uh, if I can zoom in here. Whoops, that's too far. Nope, I can't do it. But then you turn it on. Backlit. Very bright, very easy to read this dial, and it tunes real smooth. So it's easy to tune, except, <clears throat> it, you know, it just got that, yeah, 270 or 300 degrees for the dial, and it does have, uh, on, very noticeable on shortwave, that DSB muting while tuning situation. Nice, nice little radio, good size, good, good, the audio is really good. I know it's going through my microphone, so it might not be as good on your end from my recording. That's about it. Again, it, it has a built-in lithium battery, which you can probably get to these screws, or via these screws, and replace it, but and no warranty after that. That's basically what they said in the uh, manual. That's it. Um, again, I like this so much that I put it in my um, Amazon store. The link to my Amazon store is below each of my videos. If you enjoyed this video, have a great day. And give me a thumbs up. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, bye-bye. I'm getting tired. <laughs> oh, jeez, I'm getting tired.